Well, very exciting news out of the States. Elon Musk has announced his brain chip factory called Neuralink, which he founded himself, has just implanted the first brain chip in a human. He tweeted today the first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Well, we have exclusive footage today, ladies and gentlemen, of said human post-operation recovering well. They created me to retrieve data from a computer system here in the city. We're going to be cyborgs. It's all just a matter of time. You can get add-ons now. Just go to Neuralink. I mean, imagine being the first person to put up your hand and be like, yeah, OK, I'll be the guinea pig. <laughs> Give it a go. It's, it's a pretty amazing individual. technology. I mean, it'll help quadriplegics control yeah. devices with their thoughts. But I'm just wondering if we like Tesla where, you know, you've got 22,000 people recalled because there's something wrong with the <laughs> software and they've got to do an upgrade. And, and I can see the medical use for it if we're talking about people who are quadriplegic mm. and, and can finally have some, you know, autonomy because of it. But Elon Musk has already said that he wants to achieve a symbiosis with artificial technology, mm. artificial intelligence, sorry. Mm. So what he's ultimately talking about is you, anyone could have a chip put in their brain and start talking to computers and altering your thoughts and doing all sorts of things. Again, I mean, we talk about being beholden to technology in terms of banks if you, you can't get any cash out because the uh, telecommunication systems have gone down. Imagine if we're all walking around with brain chips and someone hacks into that system. I mean, the things they could do to you are just absurd. Well, love him for his freedom of speech stances and thank God he bought Twitter, but he's always been a very passionate transhumanist, yeah. always. But where this is going to go, I mean, the transgender debate is what constitutes a man or a woman. The transhuman debate is going to be what constitutes a human being. God help mm. us when we're having that argument.